Morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. So this morning we have started um, the build, we're just about to start the build for a, um, it's a holiday lodge, which we're building out of ICF. You may have seen some of my posts over the last few weeks about uh, the structural stuff and getting it, getting it all ready to, um, to start. Uh, but we're here on site this morning, so we're, we're over in Worcester. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. The site that we're working on is, let's see if I can spin you around. Um, See, it's a, a fishing, um, it's a fisheries, fishing farm basically. So absolutely fantastic setting. Um, obviously it doesn't look too great with the Harris fencing up, but uh, you get the picture. Uh, and we are here on site. We've just uh, unloaded all the ICF, and we've got all the bits and pieces out. The groundwork's all been done before we started. Another firm um, did the groundwork, so they put in a, a raft um, foundation slab. Uh, you see all the steel, the rebar there, which is obviously we're going to slot onto. Um, set, started setting out all our ICF, made all our cuts. Um, it's a really difficult site because we, um, obviously it's a working um, fishery, so we've got to be very, very quiet. And also we've got to obviously keep the mess to a minimum. Um, so all the cuttings had to be done um, remotely up in the container. So we've done all the cuts, so we know exactly what we're doing. Um, we're just waiting for a couple of bits of materials to turn up and we will crack on. But um, this is going to be a pretty, pretty fast, um, pretty fast build. The um, the lodge itself is, is eleven and a half meters by six and a half meters, so it's not uh, it's not a huge building. Um, so we're anticipating we'll probably be here three days this week. So we'll get the structure up. Next week we come back, do the final prep and the concrete pour, leave it a week to go off, and then we're back the following week to put a, a beam and block roof on. Um, so three weeks. Um, from a time point of view, in and out, but obviously there's, there's kind of three, th two or three days a week. Um, so very, very fast build. Um, so I will keep you updated, but um, for now, I'm going to enjoy the sun. Um, we're up to about 25, 26 degrees already. It's only quarter to 10. So um, yeah, maybe we'll get burnt today, but um, it's all good fun. Um, cheers, guys. Have a great day, whatever you're doing, and watch out for the updates. All the best. Cheers. So on the bracing system, you can, as you see, we've got the vertical that fixes to the wall, fixes to the floor, fixes, fixes to the wall, and we've got an adjustable uh, leg, effectively, which we can just twist. It's threaded there. We can just twist it, and that, that gives us adjustment in and out of the wall. Um, which means obviously you know, we can we can plumb all the walls up and then as we're pouring the concrete, if we need to, we can always, you know, again, adjust it, pull in or push out as we need to. Um, but yeah, so it's a, it's a really, really effective system that we use. So that is how that works. So here's just a little bit of a further explanation as well about how we, how we set the site up. So once we, we, we build the first course, set out, get it all squared up, uh, then we, in this particular case, obviously it's hard to see now, but I'll, take, I'll try and take you up the top and you can have a look down. But there is loads and loads of structural rebar here. Um, the, the, the raft foundation was just absolutely jam-packed with, um, with rebar. Obviously, we, as I say, we didn't do that. The, the, the client um, took care of the groundworks. But um, there's a lot of vertical rebar. Um, basically, there's, there's rebar going vertically every 100 mil, um, which is... The reason being, it's it's going to be effectively a retaining wall. Um, these three walls are going to be retaining walls once the earth gets back filled. Um, so we've had to use a 12-inch core um, ICF system. It's obviously got more concrete in there, and there's a hell of a lot of, of, of steel work in there as well. Uh, but basically, yeah, so we, we got the first, cup, first course in, got it all levelled up. Um, we then put our um, vertical braces, sorry, vertical braces here, start going in. We've got to get the second course on, get it all fixed in. And this bracing system, it's a vertical brace um, with an adjustable um, uh, adjustable um, bracing system that's attached to it. And it's also a combination scaffold um, system. So it's a really, really effective way of doing it, but quite fast. Uh, again, it's all about sort of speed when you're getting this stuff up. Um, but let's take you up there with me. So 
So as you can see here, I hope you can see there, you've got a lot of, there's a lot of steel work in there. Uh, around here. I don't know if you can see that in there. So the, the rebar, the top of the rebar comes up to the to the to the top course of um, of block work. But yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful, absolutely stunning, stunning setting. So when it's finished, it will be uh, it will be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, as I say, this is the uh, the, the, the scaffold platform. So you've got your handrails that you fix in there, uh, and it's all it's all there, ready for you. Um, so as I say, we'll be up here. We'll be working up here today, getting this getting the final layer. Uh, the final um, course just cut down and put to where it needs to be and then next week we'll be up here uh, walking around pouring the concrete so i'll probably do another video then to show you what we're doing on that part of the build all the best <laughs>